welcome dear friends today we are going to see about bioinformatics we are going to cover definition objectives bioinformatics databases impact of bioinformatics in vaccine discovery and applications of bioinformatics so basically what is bioinformatics we can say it is a marriage between computer science and molecular biology the algorithm the techniques and the techniques of computer science are being used to solve the problems faced by molecular biologist information technology applied to the management and analysis of biological data it broadly involve the computational tools and methods used to manage analyze and manipulate volumes and volumes of biological data storage and analysis are two of the important functions bioinformatics built tools for each so we can see the complex data which which has some part with biology and information technology they are merged together and it forms bioinformatics now what is bioinformatics it deals with some part of biology some part of chemistry some part of statistics and some use of computer science and together this emerges as a new branch called as bioinformatics the term bioinformatics was first coined by Pauline Hortwig and Ben Hesper in 1970 as the study of informatic processes in biotic system the we there are various definitions of bioinformatics in the field of science it, it is said to be uh, which biology computer science and information technology merge to form a single discipline for the collection organization analysis manipulation presentation and sharing of biological data to solve biological problems on molecular level secondly bioinformatics can be defined as collection of mathematical statistical and computing methods that aim to solve biological problems using dna and amino acid sequences and related information it is the field of science in which biology computer science and information technology merge into a single discipline that is bioinformatics so the biologist they collect molecular data dna and protein sequences gene expressions etc the computer scientist okay he might be a mathematician or a statistician develop tools softwares algorithms to store and analyze the data and together they work to form the basic uh, discipline of bioinformatics it deals with study of biological questions by analyzing molecular data with the help of computer tools what are the ob objectives of bioinformatics to study normal biological processes to analyze the cause of disease due to malfunctioning of biological process to design various approaches to improve biological processes to improve thus drug discovery techniques to help in developing new target drugs for fetal diseases it enables study and research on development of preventive medicines for life threatening diseases like cancer hiv coronavirus etc now what are the components of bioinformatics the first is creation of database now what does it involve it is related with organizing storage and management of biological data sets the databases are accessible to researcher to know the existing information and submit new entries like protein sequence data bank for molecular structure secondly it is involved in development of algorithm and statistics it involves development of tools and resources to determine relationship among the members of the large data sets example comparison of protein sequence data with already existing protein sequences third lead is involved in analysis of data and interpretation appropriate use of component 1 and 2 to analyze the data and interpret the results in a biologically meaningful manner this includes dna rna protein sequence protein structures etc now we are going to look at the broad coverage of bioinformatics first is functional genomics it includes identification of genes and their respective functions secondly structural genomics include predictions related to functions of proteins comparative genomics include understanding the genomics of different species of organism dna microarray it is designed to measure the level of gene expression 
in different tissues, various stages of development and in different diseases. Then medical informatics involves the management of biomedical data with special reference to biomolecule. Now, what is the basic concept of bioinformatics? Its main priority has been implicated in data storage and genome sequence analysis. The unprecedented growth of information technology and extraordinary growth in molecular biology and the recombinant DNA technologies and their interrelated studies culminated into cutting edge technology like bioinformatics. Thus, it is termed as biocomputing and computational biology. Recently, genomics occupies central role in bioinformatics that is under understanding the basic life process. It refers to its approach towards balancing biology, mathematics, and con computer programming in order to ensure availability of tools to compute and analyze biological data in the best possible manner. It provides deeper understanding of molecular biology, software programs, program coding and decoding, genetic data analysis, and study of DNA structure and composition. Bioinformatics involve integration of computers, software tools, and databases that are used to address various biological queries. The two major activities involved in bioinformatics are study of genomics and proteomics. Genomics is analysis of genomes, Proteomic, proteomics is analysis of proteins. Now, what is a biological database? It is a collection of biological data on computer which can be manipulated to appear in varying arrangements and subsets is regarded as database. Biological information can be stored in different database. The first type is nucleotide sequence database. Second is protein sequence database. Third is molecular structure of database. And fourth is other databases. Now, what includes under nucleotide sequence database? Uh, it is submitted by the scientist and genome sequencing groups uh, at the databases, namely Gene Bank, EMBL, European Molecular Biology Laboratory, and DDBJ, DNA Data Bank of Japan. There is a good coordination between these three databases as they are synchronized on daily basis. Besides the primary nucleotide databases, there are other some databases also to provide information on genes, genomes, and ongoing research projects. The second is protein sequence database. It is usually prepared from the existing literature and in consultation with the experts. In fact, these databases represent the translated DNA databases. The third is molecular structure of database. The 3D structure of macromolecules are determined by X-ray crystallography and nuclear magnetic resonance, PDB and SCOP, are the primary databases, 3D structures of biological molecules. Other databases, KEGG is a database, is an important one that provide information on the current knowledge of molecular biology and cell biology with special reference to information on metabolic pathways, interacting molecules and genes. Now, what is the impact of bioinformatics in vaccine discovery? Uh, it is provides, uh, it helps to develop vaccine in more effective way and in a shorter span of time. It is because it combines biology with pharmacology. Bioinformatics reduce the time and cost required to develop hypersensitivity drugs with fever side effects. Science of genomics play a vital role in improving human health globally. It has been found that if a genome sequence of pathogen is available, a vaccine can be easily created to destroy that sequence and hence occurrence of disease can be prevented. Genomic data are processed by a variety of software programs that help identify individual genes and the outcomes. Designing an ideal vaccine largely depends on targeted pathogens and their interactions with existing drugs. Study of genome sequence of various pathogens along with rapid advancement in biotechnology allow us to collect large amount of useful information about host and pathogen. This play an important role in discovery of vaccines. Thus, we can say that bioinformatics has the potential to improve process of vaccine development. Helpful vaccine informatics support. Analysis to help find good, good molecular targets for vaccines. Private databases to help collect and organize lab and clinical data. Public databases and web works to help display and analyze the results of clinical trials. 
integrating in additional data from samples in clinical trials into database. So this was all about bioinformatics. Thank you for listening.